What's going on guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to be showcasing some guillotine deathless gameplay and uh, we're going to showcase the first two clips it's going to be her as a seven star rank one without any synergies and then we're going to also move to the seven star rank two with both recoil masteries and without them so guillotine deathless doesn't really have too many abilities which is kind of weird like she even has less abilities than the og guillotine so i would definitely love it if she had you know that heavy thing where she places like the bleed curses those could have called like degen curses or something uh, i don't come up with the names but she would definitely be a lot better now the the one thing that helps gitin a lot from being a seven star is the stat focus because she is really strong when she crits because when you crit obviously you deal more damage and also you apply degen to the opponent which is like probably Mo where most of your damage comes from so that stat focus definitely helps like that 2.9 percent critical chance definitely helps we're also going to showcase her with some synergies so that you can see the power when she crits like we're going to go with some critical uh boost synergies and uh she's going to be a lot better so this well, this first fight was you know 200k health drax and now this is like close to 700k and the problem with guillotine is that in longer fights her damage gets too low because basically every 10 seconds you lose one of that uh one of your souls uh, which you can see the timer here we're about to lose one there and we just gained one so you gain one when the opponent loses five percent of their health so every time they lose five percent of their health we get one of that uh charge which those charges basically they give us critical damage so the more you have the more critical damage you have so you know in longer fights she is not good at all because if you start losing your your souls you cannot get the specter on that special too you can't get those high critical damage hits so she definitely needs to be used in fights that are not too long so like 600 k is kind of long for uh, seven star rank one at least and uh yeah we would pop the special two you also obviously want to run her with the ghost rider relic which basically gives you some degen vulnerabilities and also vicious which increases your dot yeah here i did those heavies i wish she had the you know the same interaction with og guillotine but unfortunately not and this is you might have noticed this is a very very slow fight for 690k hp i believe we have over 100 hits and the time it's not gonna be good at all and this is also with class advantage uh keep that in mind we're not running Mr. Dispersion though, or Suicides. Pop that special one, and the Degen should take care of it. Oh, there we go. So this was this was pretty slow. You know, this was two minutes, I believe. This was exactly two minutes, yeah. So now let's check out the seven star rank two version of Keating. I don't know why it froze there. Seven star rank two against this 200k healthful Drax. And you'll see a big difference just because, again, when the healthful is low, you stack those salts so fast like you see we got six already seven and like the, the more five percent damage it takes the more the critical damage we get so you see how basically that hits super hard look at this 15 souls right there and when we crit we deal so much damage 20 souls 21 but that's not too realistic so i think after this here we're gonna have getting as a rank two but here this is with synergies so this is again the 600k healthful or sorry about to 700k this is getting with synergy so you'll see her critting a lot more and you see how you'll see the difference like there's gonna be a crazy difference so remember the seven star rank one took two minutes now let's see the seven star rank two with uh with synergies how much it's gonna take look at this got seven degens on them they're taking so much and we also have that degen vulnerability pop that special two get some nice crits because of the synergies as well stat focus we get a bunch of critical rating uh and i believe her base is actually quite high as well let me let me double check her base is 26 percent. yeah it's pretty high so we, ha we have a very high chance to crit which again degens pop another special two we got some nice uh souls right there we got some nice critical damage almost 10k medium and pop that special one takes care of him so this was you'll see a big difference I, i'm telling you 
So instead of two minutes from the seventh to rank one, seventh to rank two with synergies, it's a minute. Like it's it's a huge difference. But uh, that's the power of the synergies. Now we're gonna move to uh, suicides. This is again the seven hundred K health where we're gonna showcase the strax <laughs> every time. Uh, this is again seventh to rank two with suicides and synergies. And now you're obviously gonna see a big difference here. Obviously, like the you know the thing about Gitin, she's not too suicide friendly. But she benefits a lot from from su the suicide playstyle, like killing the opponent fast. Because if you kill the opponent fast, you stack up your souls. Because if you if you're too slow, then you're gonna start losing them, which means you're gonna lose the way to apply a spectre. You're gonna lose your critical damage, and you can see like she is crushing it with suicides. But obviously, she's losing a lot of health. We don't even have her awakened, which kind of sucks. We can't really get her awakened. Which, you know, there's some life steal, which could definitely help with suicides. 50k right there. See, see, did you see that difference, man? Like, this fight was 40 seconds, I believe? 41 seconds instead of 57. Like, you see, the suicides definitely put in some good work because of her playstyle. Like, you need her to finish fights fast. So I'm curious to see how she's going to work in the next Battlegrounds meta because she has some degens. And the good thing about the degens... Oh, man, four of them. The good thing about the degens is no one is immune to degen, which means you're always gonna get power gain from polka dot power, and she might, you might, if you get lucky with those uh, specials and they crit and you apply some pretty strong degens, you might be able to uh, like kill the opponent um, fairly quick. So I'm definitely gonna try her out. Definitely gonna put her in my deck next season. I'm excited to try it out in Battlegrounds. But the, the thing about her is she isn't really. She doesn't really have much. This is the special 3 which does like flat percent damage. I believe for each soul, it does 2% uh, of their max health. Um, yeah, 2% of their max health. So we actually killed him there because that was we, we had a lot of souls. And that, was, that was a lot of damage. So special 3 is decent. Uh, but um, yeah, I was saying that she doesn't have much going on for her. She doesn't have any immunities. She doesn't nullify as a mystic. You can't regen because she's not awakened. So she's just there for like an attack and maybe a little bit of damage. But I guess we'll see. We're definitely going to try her out next season. And this is, is going to be the last fight. Uh, you can see the Degens, they're doing a lot. Like with suicides, like I said, she's perfect for suicides. It's just, she's not immune to anything or have resistance. So you're obviously going to lose a lot of health. But uh, yeah, like I said... She definitely needs to kill the opponent fast, so she benefits from, benefits from them. Gonna pop the relic. Like you see, like those Realm of Legends fights, they're dying from a special two. Like it's 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 fast. With suicide, it's pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie. But this is again all synergies with some crit boost, and there's also the I think the relic is six to rank two, six to hundred. So that Ghost Rider relic is pretty strong too. But yeah, man, that is uh, it for today's video. Guillotine Deathless. You know she isn't that special. She's obviously very very cool. Again, we're going to try her out in the next season in Battlegrounds because she's probably going to be a good option because there's not too many good options. You need champions that have Dot. So <laughs> she's, like I said, she's going to work for anyone because no one is immune to DJ. So that might be actually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.